right, the series n equals 1 to infinity, ln of n over n to the third. This one I decided to use the limit comparison test on. Mostly because if we have an ln in the problem, a lot of times it's easier to compare it to something. So I decided to compare it to 1 over n squared. I believe I actually tried 1 over n cubed, and that did not work out so well. It didn't match up with the rules, so I just tried it some, something a little bit smaller. 1 over n squared seemed to work quite nicely. All right, I'm going to go ahead with the 1 over n squared. I know the... Um, 1 over n squared since it's a p series with p equals 2 and since p is bigger than 1 this is going to converge so just keep that in mind all right so what we are going to do now is if you recall we're going to take this is a sub n that's b sub n so we're going to take the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n over b sub n and then i'll multiply by the reciprocal so i end up getting ln over n and if I try to plug infinity into both of those I do get infinity over infinity which leads me to L'Hopital's and so I'll still be finding the limit as n approaches infinity the derivative of the ln of n would be 1 over n the derivative of n is just 1 and so now if I plug in infinity I get 0 and we know that if we get an answer of 0 that if b sub n converges, then a sub n will also converge. So I can say since the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n over b sub n is equal to 0, and b sub n converges, actually that's the sum, the series converges, then the n equals 1 to infinity of ln n or n cubed also converges. All right, number 17, I have n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 2 plus the square root of n. And again, I decided to use a comparison test on this one because it looked like something that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. So the direct comparison test. All right, so we are going to let b sub n equal something. And I noticed since I have two things done in the denominator, if I just simplified it to be 1 over, I think I actually tried 1 over the square root of n first. I just dropped the 2 out of the problem. Um, I tried that and I don't think it matched up. So I'm going to try b equals 1 over n instead. And now I just need to decide if this is a sub n and this is b sub n, which one is smaller. And if I take the square root on the bottom and I leave it as a whole number on the bottom, a sub n is definitely going to be smaller. Actually, a sub n is going to be bigger than b sub n. So let's see how we do here. We know the series of b sub n of 1 over n, n equals 1 to infinity. This is a p series with p equal to 1, and if p is less than or equal to 1, the series will diverge. And so since a sub n is even bigger than b sub n, the a sub n also has to diverge. So we can say since b sub n diverges and a sub n n is even bigger, then b sub n, then my series n equals 1 to infinity of a sub n also diverges. All right, problem 18, we have n over 3n cubed minus 4n plus 5. Um, you might want to try with the nth term test on this one, but then you get an answer of 0, and if it equals 0, it's inconclusive, so I decided to try something else. Um, what I did on this one, I, I didn't see an easier way to do this other than doing a comparison, So, and I don't care for direct comparison if I don't have to do direct comparison, so I decided limit comparison on this one. So I just need to compare it to something. And so if I picked b sub n, if I had n over n cubed, 
the way that that would reduce would be 1 over n squared. And so I did try 1 over n squared and it worked quite nicely. So that is what I will do. And so when I did that, first of all, if I found the limit of this one, of b sub n, this is going to be a p series with p equals 2. And since p is greater than 1, my series is going to converge. So we're hoping that we'll get an answer over here where we'll be able to get it to converge as well. So when I did this one, we'll get the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n over b sub n. So n over 3 n cubed minus 4 n plus 5 over 1 over n squared. So that will multiply, we multiply by the reciprocal. We will get n cubed over 3 n to the third minus 4 n plus 5. I notice if we plug in infinity, we get infinity over infinity. So I get to use L'Hopital which means we'll find the limit as n approaches infinity of the derivative. So we'll get 3n squared over 9n squared minus 4. We still get infinity over infinity. So I get to use L'Hopital again. So again, we'll be finding the limit as n approaches infinity of 6n over 18n. And um, we'll still get infinity over infinity. And then I get to use L'Hopital's rule one more time. So if I do L'Hopital, I get the limit as n approaches infinity of just 6 over 18, which would reduce to 1 third. So we got a limit of 1 third, and since this is a number that's bigger than 0, um, we know that if my b sub n converges, then this one also converges. So now I can say, since um, the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n over b sub n is bigger than 0, and the series b sub n converges, and I actually need to call this a sub n if I'm going to refer to it, then I would say the series n equals 1 to infinity of a sub n also converges. All right, number 19, we want to find the series n equals 2 to infinity of 1 over n times the quantity ln n squared. You could do a, another comparison test, I suppose, but I do notice that this is actually a good integral test setup. If you would notice the derivative of ln is sitting in the problem, so I'm going to use the integral test, which means I want to find the integral from 2 to infinity, and again, we should actually test it. It does work starting at 2, so I'm fine. So we'll get... Um, 1 over n ln n squared, and then obviously we can't approach infinity, so we'll find the limit as n or w approaches infinity of 2 to w, 1 over n ln n squared. I let u equal the natural log of n, so du will equal 1 over n, which is right there in the problem. So if I were to rewrite this problem, it actually just ends up being 1 over u squared. And another way of writing that, obviously, would be u to the negative 2. And then if I took the integral of that, it's going to be u to the negative 1 times the reciprocal, which would be negative 1. So this would be negative 1 over u. So this problem is going to be negative 1 over ln n. Right? We get to evaluate it at w and 2. So if I plug in w, I get negative 1 over the natural log of w minus negative 1 over the natural log of 2, so this is going to turn into plus, so I'll get negative 1 over the natural log of w plus 1 over the natural log of 2, and then if I plug in infinity, whoops, so we want to show that I'm going to now let w approach infinity. If I plug in infinity, I'll get negative 1 over infinity, which would approach 0, so 0 plus 1 over ln 2 is 1 over ln 2, which is a finite number. And since I get a finite number, so I'll say since the integral of 2 to infinity of 1 over n ln n squared, since it converges, because we did get a finite number, then the series n equals 2 to infinity of the original one. Also, Converges. All right, number 20. The integral 
we got the integral of this series, n equals 2 to infinity of n over ln n. We could probably choose many different things. I chose to go the easiest route this time. Let's just do the nth term test. So I'll be finding the limit as n approaches infinity of n over ln n. And if I plug in infinity, I'll get infinity over infinity, which means I get to use L'Hopital's rule which means I'll be finding the limit as n approaches infinity. The derivative of n is 1. The derivative of ln n is 1 over n. So if I multiply by the reciprocal, I'll end up getting n. And if I find the, um, as n approaches infinity, I'll get infinity. And since we just found that the limit as n approaches infinity of n over ln n does not equal 0, then the series must diverge.